Welcome, my name is Mike F. Robbins, and today I'll be showing you how to use a new module that we've released that allows you to migrate Azure RM PowerShell scripts to the AZ PowerShell module. It allows you to do that automatically. So as many of you know, all versions of the Azure RM PowerShell module were outdated, but they're not out of support yet. The AZ PowerShell module is now the recommended PowerShell module for interacting with Azure. We asked our customers what was keeping them from migrating from Azure RM to the AZ PowerShell module. And most of the responses mentioned the amount of work invested in their current scripts that were based on Azure RM that would need to be overhauled. Many of these scripts were non-trivial. They created things like entire environments in Azure. So we listened to our customers, and that's the reason that we're here today. So the name of the module is az.tools.migration. It can be found in the PowerShell gallery today. It also exists in a GitHub repository. You can go to github.com slash Azure slash Azure dash PowerShell dash migration. So you, you can find some docs in here. You can find sample scripts, and you can find all the source code. Now, there will be a VS Code extension for this as well. But the main thing I will be showing today is the actual PowerShell module. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your scripts are compatible with the Azure RM PowerShell module version 6.13.1. And that's the latest version of the Azure RM PowerShell module. It's been out for quite some time. Your scripts are probably compatible, but just confirm that they are before you proceed. So you need to install the uh, az.tools.migration module. So I have that module in numerous repositories that are registered on my machine, which is why I've specified the repository of PS Gallery. Most people will only have that one as their default, so they won't need to specify that. So you can run git command and specify module and the name of the module. And that'll give you a list of the commands. If you're not familiar with how to get help in PowerShell, you can say help and space and then the name of the command. So I'm, I'm sure that most of you are familiar because of the nature of this tool. So the first thing you need to do is generate a plan. Now I have a list of scripts in my scripts folder that use Azure RM and those scripts are actually available in the repository that I previously mentioned. So you want to run new AZ upgrade module plan and you want to specify the Azure RM version and the AZ version and I would recommend the latest version of AZ whatever version is out when you're watching this video. Now there's a directory path or a file path parameter. If you want to just target a file, then you would use the file path parameter and specify the path to the file. But I have a number of scripts that I want to upgrade all in one shot. So I'm going to specify a directory with the scripts. In addition to returning the results, I want to store them in a variable. So I'm going to specify the out variable parameter and specify a plan for the variable name. So this generates a plan. It doesn't make any modifications to your scripts. It just tells you what it would do. So it's going to upgrade a number of commandlets and different scripts. It's going to upgrade, upgrade some commandlet parameters as well that have changed between Azure RM and, and the AZ PowerShell module. So one thing you want to make sure that you do before performing the upgrade is look for any that are not ready to upgrade. So you can pipe what we previously stored in the, in the plan variable to where object and filter on the plan result where the results are not equal, ready to upgrade, and pipe it to format list. There's only one script in all the scripts that I tested that has a problem. It says the commandlet parameter is not found, and it gives me the name of the script. So there would have to be some manual user intervention to fix the problem with the script prior to it being able to be automatically upgraded. Now, one thing that I use a lot in my personal scripts is splatting. And I know that splatting is not compatible with this tool as far as like scripts that you would be upgrading. So if you use splatting, then you would have to fix those or, or possibly fix those manually instead of automatically upgrading those. 
So now what we want to do is perform the upgrade. And you'll see what happens if you don't fix this problem. So you'll run invoke AZ upgrade module plan. And the recommended, there's several different ways to do this, but the recommended way is to generate the plan, view it, and then use that same plan, the results. As you can see, I'm specifying the variable there for the plan. And then the file edit mode gives you a couple of different options. You can perform an in-place upgrade that upgrades your existing files. I would only do that if I've made a backup copy of my files, but I'm going to say create new files that are upgraded. And once again, I'll store the results in a variable. Okay, it's asking me, are you sure you want to do this? Do you want to perform the upgrade on 143 module upgrade steps? And we'll say yes to all. You can see that the upgrade completed for all the ones we can see on the screen. Very similar to the last command, the reason I stored the results in a variable, instead of having to scroll through this list and try to figure out what happened, I can actually work with the contents of the results variable. And I can pipe that to where object and filter on upgrade result where it's not equal to upgrade completed. Once again, you can see it's very similar to the plan that it wasn't able to uh, perform the upgrade for this pr particular uh, commandlet parameter. You would have to uh, fix that problem manually. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about this module, please feel free to log an issue in the GitHub repository and let us know. Thank you.